This video is a short introduction to the rapid prototyping solution based on Scilab and X2C for microchip 16 and 32-bit devices. So I have started Scilab already and I will show you as an example a very simple demo application. So I've opened the model. I will explain a few details in the model. So this is a model that is generating a three-phase sign signal and a single-phase sign signal. Uh, it uses two I.O. pins on, with buttons on the demo board and the potentiometer which captures the voltage. On the output side we have uh, three, four LEDs to show some signals. So you can simulate this model by clicking on this button and after a while you get some simulation results. You can zoom into the signals, you can change parameters, simulate again and once you are happy with the simulation you start the communicator this is part of the X2C package and on the video here on the bottom right you see already a demo board connected uh, which has a picket on board included and a virtual COM port through a USB. So with uh, this I can here I can now generate code out of the model and automatically start compiling and programming. This is done with the script, so the script is already executed. It will take a little while for the script to be finished. And once finished we get the message post generation script OK. So now we can connect with the UART interface to the target using this icon here and start the scope functionality. So here we have the scope. And we can start sampling. It supports single shot, uh, continuous sampling and it also allows some triggering. So you can view any signal in the model, you just go to the pull down menu, select the signal, select the port and it will be shown in the graphs. For instance if you look at the blue line on the video that's connected to the potentiometer and if I turn the potentiometer it goes between 0 and 1 which is the scaling for the potentiometer. So set that somewhere in the middle to so 0.5 or below in that case. If you want to change some parameters in the model, that's also another easy thing. Uh, you just go to the model and for instance choose the frequency and select a different value. And you see in the signals so you can change the value here increase the frequency it's blinking very fast can't be seen on the video anymore so even with the mouse wheel I can go down to lower value and now you see uh, the LED is blinking much much slower so this can be done for any parameter in the model uh, and the potentiometer value we have connected to the switch here. So around 0.5 the blinking frequency of the LED is changing. So you can extend the model. There is a big library available of different blocks. You can extend uh, the model with the blocks uh, and you just have to 
regenerate the code, program the target, uh, modify the parameters you want, view the parameters you want, and you don't have to write any line of C code, and you have a super fast rapid prototyping solution. If you're interested in how to set up this solution, let's watch out for the next movie.